Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. So you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? <laughs> Prescott Power. Yes, I am going to find you, Rachel. For Chloe and Kate. Your party days are over. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. A long time ago, in a girl's room right here. Maybe Kate started a revolution. I know you and Kate are connected by all this.
Max, you've already seen the damn hallway. Get over here and see something new. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Nothing here. Dead end. Boring. Crap. Nothing here. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Mm. 
Ooh, sugar. Only three more items to go. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Release the Kraken. It's all mine anyway. You're halfway home, Max. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. This is like a scene in a horror film. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, <laughs> give it up. The tape is mine. Only one more ingredient left.
Gross. I hate that formalin smell. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Max, if you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, <laughs> give it up. Ass biology. Ugh, gross. I probably should find those items now. Da Vinci was a boss. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but... I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. Artist, damn it, not a scientist. Max, if you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, <laughs> give it up. Here's the sodium chloride box. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. No, this mixture doth not work. I never said they were great, troll. Max, if you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, <laughs> give it up.
You have to be shitting me. Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, give it up. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool! We are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Here are the keys. None for the principal's office.
There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Take it easy on the door. I can get this bastard open. She can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. You're not so tacky up close. You're not so tacky up close. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Chloe. Say hello to my little friend. Say good night to the bad guy. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Only two more files to go. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file.
This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? Prescott's always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me.
Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are Supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. Max, you better come check out an accused. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, moral Max is right again, I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Looks like an oil paintings bill. Awful. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I would love a soda, but I'd just get wired. Go otters. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. I hope the otters will survive. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks.
boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls, ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Boys or girls? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution. Boy's locker room is right. Sometimes. Some poor hipster lost their vape. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? This must be for training kids. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. Ta-da, I've solved the case of the lost goggles, but I'm too busy now. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Max Caulfield, moral avenger, or self-righteous hypocrite. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. 
In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Yes, we get it. Otters. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. So, the big plan is... win. Time to do or dive, Max. Sorry, Rachel. I hope so, friend. Well, we care, dickhead. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels and towel flippers in a swimming pool. Are they training Navy frogmen? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. The wit, it burns. Where does that other sock go? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now.
Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's Revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time, but that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. Then do you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay? I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Go now. 